Welcome everybody to this week's Dirt Shed Show. Yeah, it's an exciting show this week. We're in Bentonville and we are going to be discussing, are we in the golden age of mountain bike trails? Mm. Um, all springboarding off a conversation I had with Scott Nicholl last week at Ibis Bikes. Yes, Crikey, we've got that plus much, much more. We went and had actually a little wander around Bentonville and saw some pretty tricked out bike shops. Yeah. Plus we got some cool tech. We have got magnetic pedals and some pretty fancy upgrades on one of my own bikes, Mark. Yeah, let's do it. We're celebrating being in Bentonville and Ville the Dirt Shed Show. It's all coming up. Yes, welcome to the Dirt Shed Show <laughs> from know. Bentonville. It's a bit different to our this norm, is so isn't it? US right now. I know, right? I feel very American. Oh, this is amazing. We've literally only just arrived in Bentonville coming yeah. from Sea Otter Classic, which was Mental. insanely yes. fun. Um, and we had a great conversation with Scott Nicholl at Ibis Bikes last week that really got me thinking about um, are we in the golden age of mountain bike trails? And this is, place yeah. is maybe the, um, the most ultimate example of it because it is. It is it's, where it's kind of almost become a bit of a buzzword in mountain bike. Yeah, it has. You're it? right. It's like the definition of sort of progressive mountain bike trails in a way, if you yeah. like. With what they're trying to do here is basically just build the ultimate mountain bike place, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. Everywhere here has got some kind of connection. Oh. When I say everywhere, I feel it feels Literally. like each house yeah. you pass has got something to do with mountain biking yeah. or is uh, influenced by it. Everything in terms of coffee shops and bike yeah, shops is pointing you towards the trails. But do you remember, we were wandering around town and even in the middle of town, there was just a bike, like a little service station for your bike with a yeah. pump and tools and a stand. Uh, where's the valve? Oh, here. I can't, still can't get it. Oh, look at that's a good trick. Oh. This on Midtown Pit Stop. That's so crazy. That's fast, isn't it? Why oh, hasn't all towns got, look, it's got tire levers, Allen keys. Here we go. Spanners. What pressure is that? I would like about 35. Oh, look, it just pulls out. There we go. Oops. Hang on, we know that Richie's got a screw loose, so I'll just tighten <laughs> that. That's that fix. Yeah, that's, cool. yeah. that's really good, isn't it? Just in the middle of town. Oh, tiny, but you can tiny. Yeah. Here's the other one. And then that's the stand you wedge your bike to, like your seat post in there. That's the best. Yeah, yeah that's huh? really clever. Unbelievable. Crazy. Unbelievable. So, so this is kind of like the ultimate end the of it extreme. and where it can go. And I get the feeling that this is only the beginning for this place because the they've got big plans. Yeah. I, I, you just can yeah. feel it. Um, but I guess we've got examples of this type of thing everywhere. I mean, in the UK, um, one place near me, Bike Park Wales, I yep. mention it a lot, I love it. I see Merthyr Tidfil. You don't go for tourism to Merthyr Tidfil, but Whoa. it's a nice place if you're interested in mining history. Yeah. But you don't really go there <laughs> yeah. in terms of a tourist for any other reasons. But these days, hordes and hordes yeah. of bikes are running over the Severn Bridge on tops of cars to yeah. go to Merthyr Tidfil to ride Bike Park Wales. It's become a tourist attraction. I agree, it is. And it's because of what the, the infrastructure and the, the facilities that they've built yeah. is what's attracting people. You've got the combination of amazing trails and the variety of trails. Yeah. But you've got the facilities, so things like you can uh, stay really well nearby and stay there. You've got all the bike washes, the yeah. servicing, coaching, hire. I mean, yeah. it, it's, it's a one-stop shop. It's the complete package of riding bikes. Yeah. And it, it really feels like we're, we're in that golden age where, it, where lots and lots of people are coming into cycling for, via e-bikes and these amazing yes. trails. And our sport is, I think, blossoming. It is. But... Is there a down? <laughs> yes. Is there a downside? Rich? I was going to bring this up. I think there is a flip side to this because mm. when I very first started riding, a few moons back now, yeah. trail centres weren't really a thing. So you just go out and you'd build or you'd ride just purely natural trails, and they'd be great for your skills. Yes. None of this surfaced, none of this cut out, groomed kind of tracks or anything yeah. like that. It was yeah. just raw, like yeah. hammering through the woods. And I think that art of riding those kind of natural, raw, slippery, tricky trails is a little bit getting lost now, especially Ooh. with people 
new to the sport. Yeah, but I mean, is it that sport is evolving and that's what it's becoming? And, and dare I say it, Rich, it's not like that anymore? Ooh. I don't know. I mean, I guess we're going <sighs> to have to let these guys decide. Yes. Let us know in the comments down below. What do you think? I mean, I'm pretty convinced we're in the beginning of a golden age okay. of mountain biking. And I went through one in the 90s. <laughs> and it feels <laughs> a lot did. like now where it's yes. really exciting, yeah. really buzzy, everyone's into yeah, it. Yeah, I get it. Um, I get and, it. and I feel like that's my side of God. Rich has got a good, good yeah. argument. Good Let argument. us know in the comments below. Are you a natural trail shredder or a bike park thrasher? Yeah. I'm, I'm keen to know. Yeah, and give us a tick. Is it the golden age? Um, let's go, get on with the show. We've got lots coming, but first, let's head over back to the dirt shed in the UK <laughs> for the news from Tom. What's up, everyone? XC Racing made its debut in Petropolis at the weekend, the first UCI XC race in Brazil since 2005. In the XCC, or short track race, there were position changes per lap, but Pauline ferran crossed the line first, just ahead of Laura Stigger and Evie Richards. In the men's race, it was Alan Hadley sprinting to first place from Litcha, Marot, and hometown racer Enrique Avancini just back and forth. On to the main race now, where in the women's, neither PFP or Richards would start due to illness. Loana Lecomte went out strong but was caught by Terpstra, and on the final lap, a huge effort from Rebecca McConnell saw her power through to her first World Cup win. Terpstra second, Lecomte third. Shout out to Mona Mitowalna too, fifth in her first Elite World Cup, moving up from the under-23s early. In the men's race, it was a fire road sprint before the final descent when Marot beat Scherter and Daskalou to the punch. Daskalou was done settling for third, but Scherter was not, just outpacing Marot to the line. 33rd win for Nino Scherter, equaling Julian Absalon's record of World Cup wins. One more, and that record is his. Unreal. It was the Sea Otter Classic last weekend, and Doddy and the team have been out in California spotting heaps of new and prototype products. I won't have time in my little segment to cover everything new that they found at the show. I'll have to quick fire some headlines at you. But once we're done with today's Dirt Shed show, head over to the tech channel for the full scoop. With that little disclaimer out of the way, let's get stuck in. Okay, Continental have released some new mountain bike tires, five new models under four new names, for conditions ranging from hard pack to loose and mud. In either 2.4 or 2.6 widths with three casing options, downhill, enduro, or trail. Looking pretty good, those. Mick Hanna and Keegan Wright have signed with Yeti, Wright christening his SB140 by taking it to the top step of the dual slalom at Sea Otter. Nukeproof SRAM Factory Racing have dropped their team kit for 2022, a quick look at that right here. Vitus Bikes are prototyping a 140mm trail bike, and it looks like the Polygon Enduro team are doing the same with something a little bigger, the new Siskiyou N9 with a 6-bar linkage. SRAM has launched a new brake called the DB8, the company's first to use mineral oil. SRAM claims that their higher end brakes will continue to use dot fluid. There's also updates to the Fox 36 and a new fork for them as well, the 32, intended for fans of small rocks. News from a bit closer to home too, the GMBN Spring Sale has just begun. If you need some riding kit for the year and beyond, you can save 30% on some of our awesome jerseys and tech tees. In conclusion to our Danese competition, which we ran two weeks ago, the winner of all that fantastic Danese riding kit and their new open face helmet is Toby Pult. We'll be in touch on the email that you entered on. Keep your eyes on the inbox. And for everyone else, keep your eyes open for our next giveaway right here on The Dirt Shed Show. All right, let's catch up with the guys back out in Bentonville. Whoa. Thank you, nice. Tom. Yeah. Nice. Great news. Um, another busy week. Yeah. Sickest thing of the week let's, time. And it's a curveball. Yeah, because yeah. Toff's not here. Sickest thing of the week. Is here. It's here, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, honestly, when I say we've only just arrived, yeah. We've literally only just, just arrived. Just. And I, I've just got this, there's art all over the building. It's very contemporary. There's bike, that, like you said, there's that bike, bike main. There was a it, bike pub, and we love bikes, and pub. we love pubs, so. Yeah. Fortunately for the Dirt Shed Show, the pub was closed. Oh, oh no, it's closed. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. So we're not drunk at this moment, but we <laughs> nearly were. But for a lock on that door, it was, it it was. was all over. Um, yeah. yeah, sickest thing of the week is Bentonville itself. Just some of that, the little pump track that Neil just found I down know. the road. Oh, my man. God, this yeah, place is blowing my mind. Um, so keep, keep your eyes peeled for what's coming this week, because I actually don't know at this point, but it no. looks pretty good. Yeah. Sickest thing of the week, Bentonville. Bentonville. Oh! Hacks and bodges time. Uh, time. Rich, could I tempt you to a bicycle Johnny? As in a <laughs> condom. A bicycle condom. I don't what have a look yeah, at I'm this. Speech. Okay, hang Marius on. is using just a wow. little bit, little bit of inner tube. Yeah. And he's covering over his little dropper post there, like a little condom. Do you know what that is? What? 
It's the dropper, Johnny. It's the dropper, Johnny. The dropper, Johnny. Marius, um, that's very good, and that, yeah. that's going to be hard to beat. Very simple. I nice. love the ones that are simple. Yes. Um, yeah, yeah that's very cool. Next Whoa. one, another similar. Uh, this is from Yoris. Okay. Okay, so basically, water bottle holder. Oh, and a drip pan as well, essentially, to catch the... Yeah, it's very good. To dry them out. That's quite I clever. Would you say that's quite a lot of work for quite a simple... Uh, I mean... drain. I mean, the draining board of a, you know, kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Dare I say it. If you own a sink with a draining board, yeah, generally... Yeah, I, I get... But Joris, well done. Well done, you know, Joris. Okay. It's in there. It's yeah. in there. Who have we got next? Next up, our oh, next one. Wow, <laughs> Rich. <laughs> Oh man. Aaron. Aaron. Aaron, man, what are you, you doing to you us? You bodging, bodging bodger. <laughs> Look at the state uh, of that. I'm going in. That is horrible. Zoom. So we've got duct tape and zip ties involved. Yeah, on so this. I guess the uh, fixing Wowzers, clamp for his brake lever is broken and it's all sorts of ugly. But it's all sorts of working. It's, yeah. <laughs> ah. just been a, just been a, this bike fainted at the sight of that. Yes, it was like, this is what a brake lever should because look this like. Because this is the cleanest set of handlebars literally I've seen in a long You're while. You're welcome. We'll get to that in a moment. We're mo, coming though. to that. We'll get We're to, that. Um, to that. This, on the other hand, is horrendous. It's but horrendous. Aaron, Aaron, if it got you home, fair play. Well done, yeah. Um, and lastly, real clever little use of a peg, um, clothes peg, to make a little bra chain breaker. Um, oh, hook. the spring in it, yes. Oh, that is a good That's idea. That's from Callum. Yeah, I like that. Um, Rich, you're picking your favourite hack and bodge, but careful, right? Because there is a there is a GMBM race top going to someone here, so it's serious. So we've got the dropper Johnny. Dropper Johnny. The mishmash <laughs> of zippy ties. We've got <laughs> small bits of wood to hang your bottles on. Yeah. Or we've got a broken clothes peg. They're all very useful things, though. Every one of them's very useful. Do you know what? The drop, no. Ah, oh, I don't know. Aaron. Aaron, there you go. Yes. I, I don't know how you've done it. He blagged that one well. But I you liked. have you have won yourself a GMB yeah. race top. Yeah. Good on you. Excessive yeah. use of zip ties does it again. Loved it, loved it. Now, if you would like to win yourself a GMB race top, just like Aaron just did, you can get involved. Send us your hack or your bodge or your bike vault, or maybe a send or a fail. Ooh, yeah into the GMBN uploader. Just head down to the description down below this video. There's a link there. You can go to the uploader and get involved in the show. You might be winning yourself a race top. Yeah. That's how you do it. We love to see your stuff. You do it more ridiculous, the better. Actually, Absolutely. Isn't it? Well, Rich, we're here. Yeah. But where's everyone else? Let's have a look. Neil, what's going on? All right, Martin and Rich, check out this place. This is about 50 minutes down the road from Bentonville. A place called Rogers. This is the rail yard bike park. It's amazing. Blake's going to love it. He's getting here from California later this evening. It's a bit of like slope size stuff. Be warned, that berm is kind of plastic. It's really slippy in the wet. Been raining today. Uh, weather's getting better. If you're around Bentonville, any of the viewers, uh, tomorrow, so that's Saturday, uh, we are going to go for a ride out and hopefully meet a load of you guys. So we'll put it on our uh, Instagram and our Facebook. We'll put a time and a place. And yeah, come and meet us. Me, Martin, Rich, Blake, and the guys behind the cameras are all here. Come for a, a ride, maybe even a beer. Hang out with us. Tomorrow. Whoa, Alex. Does it good. Neil, uh, Neil's right. Blake is going to love this. He's and you know what? It. The ride out is going to be amazing. So come and join us on Saturday because it's going to be well fun. We'll all be there. <laughs> hey, what about a bit of tech? Oh, yes, please. Um, I've got some questions for you. Right? Fire away. This bike, it looks like it's got no shifters on it. It's the most stealth cockpit <laughs> I've seen in ages. Uh, yeah. What's going on here? It's pretty cool, isn't it? So this is my Lux Trail. But it does have shifters because it's got gears, obviously. It's got some pretty trick Zerbel shifters oh and my the God, for the cool. dropper as well, yeah. which are uh, basically a small band around just next to where the the, the go on what you are. Uh, what is you spotted? Yeah, a little stem, little little yeah, control so that's the box. Blip box. That's basically where the Bluetooth signal is sent from. Yeah. And I excuse me, leaning across where the clamp is for my lock-on grip. It's just a band around there, and it's just a real, real and it keeps Tiny. things real clean. And it's so nice. It keeps the weight down as well, because I do a lot of big rides on this oh. thing, and uh, yeah, beautiful. I just love it. It's, it's very, nice. very nice. Yeah, it's very yeah. nice. I'm super you, jealous. You need to get it on your Rich bike. is getting me a set, apparently, <laughs> for my bike. Don't know if I mentioned it, but I've got one. Swiss made as well. So yeah, very works. cool. Um, we also had another bit of tech today. We did, over lunch. Over lunch. We're sat having our lunch in a Bentonville, kind of like bike themed Pub, yeah, and uh, just over comes Tyler James Scott, um, and he just wants to say hello. Yeah, he we did. do a little photo, selfie photo. Yeah. He says, I happen to be 
the man behind Hustle Bike Labs magnetic pedals. Uh, yeah. So Look at these. Yeah, check these out. Basically, they're like a flat pedal with a magnet in the middle. And the cleat system, well, there is no cleat system as such. Yeah, it's like a cleat It's plate. a rectangle of metal that screws into where the cleat would go on the bottom of your shoe. Yeah. And that's how you basically attach. And he said yeah. it had something like, he worked in pounds. We don't work in pounds. About like 120 pounds, pounds of... of Force. Force. Yeah. Holding you together. So you're not completely stuck to it. It's not quite clipped in, but yeah. it's not quite flat pedal. Exactly. He said it's a fabulous feeling. Mm. It looks very, very cool. Yeah, um, like check it. out their Instagram, Hustle Bike Labs. Lovely family. Nice. Great to meet them. Um, yeah, so amazing tech this yeah. week. Love it. Love it. Right, let's keep going with the show. We've, We've got, got some good stuff coming. Um, I think it's probably time we should go into the caption contest. Your well, favourite, Rich. I got rinsed last week. You did Come get rinsed on. last week. But this week, it's bingers. Look at Blake in this That's photo. Good. Look at this. Oh, my God. So he's got tons of glasses on. First one for this is from Matthew Action Varian. Good name. Wow. And he says, Blake, these glasses are bugging me. <laughs> get it? Lots of eyes bugging me. Yeah. Uh, yeah nice. nice. Who's nice. next? Um, next one. It's a classic from Cornish Cactus. He's back. Oh, This Cornish guy... Cactus is gifted, right? He is. He's, he's, he's won caption contest at least three times. Yeah. He may be very close to, doing it, close to doing it again here. Cornish Cactus says, Blake's a proper shady character. Agreed. It's so Agreed, simple. Yes. It's so simple, but well, so good. I've got the last one. So Chris Pike says, no matter which glasses Blake used, he still couldn't see the point of Rich's Crocs. Great. You get it again. You it. get it again. I can't escape. Who's going to win the stunt mug this week? I, I don't know if we can just keep giving merchandise to Cornish Cactus. No, because he's I probably just, got the whole shop by now. He's probably that. got a lot, but he's blooming good and keep him up, uh, uh, Cornish. I mean... I like Chris Pikes. Is that because it just does just us both over? Just because he's dissing you. All right, yeah. Chris Pike, congratulations. Chris Pike, stunt, stunt mug. mug. Imaginary coming your way. Um, here's this week's caption contest photo. <laughs> Give us a caption for that in the comment section down below. You could be winning yourself one of those famous stunt looks. Martin, so we've come across a lot of cool things this week, but yes, actually yes. something we like this week specifically here in Bentonville was the fact that actually this place has got some history. There's a bit of a story behind it. They're not just ploughing money into it to build trails, are they? No, no. I mean, we noticed this theme as we were walking around the place. There's, there's, it's almost kind of branded with this colourway. Yeah. So uh, we popped into one of the bike shops and uh, check this out. I like Ana it. Another bike shop. I mean, there are bike shops coming out of your ears around here. They I'll, really I'm are. Going in, I'm going in this one. You can park up out here if you want. I'm going in this one. I want a piece of this. Pet friend, and it's a pet friendly establishment. So you can come in. Well, I was going to say the same joke to you. <laughs> look at it. Nice. Wow. Sick specialised. I know, look at it all. It's geared up, isn't it? It's all about bikes. It's all about, look at this one. Look at hey. this one. Woo. That is fancy, isn't it? Oz Trails. Oz Trails. Display special. only. That doesn't even look like it's ever seen dirt. Is there anything about the colourway on this, guys? Is it like, is it... Because what's with... You know, the bike stands have all got that colourway. What's yeah, that all about? so uh, the flag up there... Ah. There's actually a picture um, yeah. taken here in Arkansas that had a sunset that looked just like this. And that's uh, where that's come from, the sunset. Yep. And, and that's, what, sunset. that's what all the uh, bike stands are about, that like yep. kind of sunset. Ah. Yeah, so there was like one original picture that they took that looked... It looked very similar to that. The no way. Uh, that makes sense. Made, and, um, so then they kind of just branded that, uh, made it into the Austrians. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what they've done then, on that. And then yeah. like all the, the, the writings all in, and the linkage is all in green for the, uh, like the mountains. And that stuff. is sick. You'll see that all over town. Yeah. Um, out on yeah, the all the bike too, stands. And yeah, stuff. all the bike stands. Uh, every bike shop will have some sort of merch wow. yeah. around Austrails. And, wicked. Yeah. That yeah. is that's wicked. That's kind of cool. over here. Yeah. I'm going to get one of those Austrail hoodies, but I've got to ask my wife if I can spend the money first. <laughs> I literally, I literally got, I was about to get my credit card out a minute ago and I thought, if I, if I just buy this top, she's going to go, what are you spending money on out in the US now? And I'll be like, oh my God, I'll be in big trouble. <laughs> Isn't that a cool story? Everyone's just really hyped to ride around here. Yeah, I love it. Everyone's stoked on it. And I love that Bentonville sunset yeah, story. Nice. That's very cool. Uh, right, let's take a look at what's coming up on GMBN this week. Rich, start us off because you've got a banger. I have a Frankenbike return. So GCN <laughs> thought they were being all funny with an April Fool's video. 
and put drop bars on my nuke-proof Mega. Right. And look at it. It's a state. <laughs> but you know what? I thought, hey, you guys, I'm going to ride this. I'm going to prove them wrong. Yes. And so I did. So uh, that comes out very soon. Keep your eyes peeled because it was wild. Yeah, great. And I'll tell you what, we've got another video coming out, which Neil has done. And this is a brilliant idea by Neil. It's, uh, it's how to fit any bike into your car. Yes, Because great one. at the end of the day, that's what's going to get you to places like yeah. this, these bike parks and these trails, trail centers, um, is getting your bike in your car. And it's not always as easy as you think, but Neil's got some problems solved for you with that video. So that's very cool. Yeah, it's cool. All coming up on the channel this following week. So keep your eyes peeled. Right, Rich? We're in Bentonville, but we've still got to do a bike vault. I love it. Let's, Let's see what they've it. got. Let's do it. It's the bike vault. Doom, 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 doom. Not know you, that song? You didn't tell me we were singing. Uh, that's it's the bike vault. Doom, 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 the bike vault. I like that. We should get a tune going there. We yeah, should get a tune yeah, going there. Something. Right, into the bike vault <laughs> with right. this mellow yellow pace from Chris. Okay, okay. That's pretty I'm cool. I'm liking it. I, I uh, like yellow for a start. Yeah, I, I like, like that. Tamils. It's, I quite like it. Disaster. Even though it's got the tan walls on it. I say it's nice. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice start. It's a nice start. It's one of those fabric water bottles to keep it quite sleek. We don't have a bell, but uh, the ding a linger. Ding ding. Are you giving this to super nice? No, but <laughs> no, but we don't have it just so you know. No, it's super nice. Oh. Okay, what have we got next? It is an orange crush from Davey. Davey nice. More tan wool action. Oh, I like I think the orange crush there looks like it's yeah. doing some work. Yeah, are those plus size oh. wheels as well, or tires? They look huge. Yeah, I'm just trying to see what what where what peak he's at the top of. It looks like it might be Penavan. Yeah. I'm not sure where that is. Aggressive um, looking. Yeah, tell, very cool. Uh, super nice. nice. Yes. Super oh, nice. Super nice. I like ding, it. Ding, 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 ding. I like it a lot. Uh, yeah, uh, next up, uh, ring the bell. No, because we don't have it. Ring a ding a ding. No. Ding ding ding. Super nice. Oh, Beautiful. I mean, F900 I Volvo colours. Yeah, I, it's classic colours. Mm. Triple chain ring. Who? Oh! Love it. What well is? done. Well done, Nathan. Okay. Next up, we have got a. Oh, I like this. Oh, what is that? It's a Meta. It's a Common Sal, is Yeah, that? that is a Common Sal Meta AM29. Wow, from Mikey. Yeah, nice, Mike. I quite, you know, some coordination going on there. Super, seen a lot is of Schwalbe Tam walls in there. Yeah, um, yeah. Super nice. Ready, ready, ready. You picked these out. So, Tam wall convert, maybe? I'm coming, I'm coming oh, around. I you am. heard it here first, I people. I That'll might, be on next week's news. I might even get a set. Whoa. Only kidding, the ah, stupid. Next on. up, we've nice. got... Hang on, we haven't graded it. Oh, okay. Super nice, Super I think. Nice. I like it, Super I like nice. the colour. See, ding, ding. <laughs> Next one from Lee is a nice Marin retro, Jesus. super nice. Um, this He's one's... peak. It is super nice. It's not though, because... No, it's around the wrong it way. It's around the wrong way. Oh, it was Lee. so close. Oh, Lee, Lee why did you, you do it to yourself? You yeah. claimed it as a super nice yourself and turned out it weren't. No. Okay. Uh, next up, we have Heck got of a bike, a Foes Weasel. Wow. You can almost see who used to ride those. Was you it can Josh Bender? Yeah, you can almost man? see the vertical head angle. Yeah. <laughs> that is super nice. With matching Uber it, retro. It, it, it's super nice in a super horrid way. Yeah, it is. Ding, 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 ding. That super is. Nice. Good one. Last up, look at this one. Um, it's from. I think it's from someone called Jumbo. I've not got yeah. the right details here. Miami themed dirt jumper. Some the photo, the photo of this thing is incredible. There is some colour going on on that. Amazing. But weirdly, the pedals don't quite match. What's going on with that? Um, I guess they do kind of match parts of the de decaling. Do they? I, I think it's a down. It's a downright super nice. Bring That's it. what it is. <laughs> Well done, yeah, well done, job, Jumbo. And we've got one more actually from Chandler. <laughs> what is Look it? at Chandler, it's a tattoo. What? Yeah, okay, I got it. It's a Chandler, that. it's Pivot Trail tattoo from Chandler. There's no way I'm not giving someone's bike tattoo a super. Go on, then, that is a super that nice. Ding a ling a ling. <laughs> Ding a ling a ling. Lovely stuff. Thank you very much for sending your bikes into the bike vault. If you've got a bike, you, surely you have. Yeah. Send it into the show by going to the GMBN uploader and uh, getting it in for next week's show. We'd love to see it. Rich, we have reached the end of the show here in Bentonville. Done and dusted. You know what? There's only one thing left to do. Go on. Go and explore this bloody place. It makes sense. Why not? Yeah. Um, absolutely. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. See ya.